Pinterest for build challenges in The Sims 4, and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so this is my Pinterest, like, homepage right now. Little bit of a mixed bag. As you can tell, we've got quite a bit going on here. It's um, full of color. I look up food recipes. I look up design, inspiration for videos that I'm doing, whatever. But Pinterest is great because it changes depending on your interests and what you've been searching up recently. So your homepage is always gonna look different here. And even though I've done this challenge before, like a year ago, it's gonna show me different inspiration because I've been looking up different things. My style has changed over time. And the same thing applies to when you search something up. So when you search something on Pinterest, it's gonna show everyone different posts. So how we're gonna do this build challenge today, we're gonna search up room by room, starting with house exterior, and whatever comes up as the first post on here is going to be our inspiration for the room that we build in The Sims 4. So let's go ahead and search up house exterior. There's always like a first post here. It's kind of like an advertisement for like going to other channels. We're gonna ignore these because when you click on them, it just brings you to like a whole different page and I don't wanna be searching for that. So the first post here, this is what we're looking for. This is actually really cute. I love the paint on the outside. This is gonna be what we build in The Sims. So to start off, we're gonna build our shell and this one's gonna be a pretty easy shell, I think. We're gonna do a big rectangle here as the base. It has two bump outs going to the side, so I'm just gonna go like this for now. And at the front, we have like a change in roofing too. So I'm gonna do one bump out there and one here in the back. And then up top, we have like the tiniest second floor ever. The rest is gonna be covered in roofing. So we're just gonna do a small box like that. Maybe we can do like a loft bedroom up there or something and for now this is gonna be our shell. I just adjusted it so it's a little bit smaller here and now we're gonna go in with the roofing which I actually really like the roofing on this build. We're gonna start off with a hipped roof piece and we're gonna bring it around the first rectangle that we made originally so we're just gonna go like that. We're gonna use this one here the gabled roof piece. I'm gonna put that on the bump out at the front and just bring that all the way to the back. We're gonna copy and paste the same thing put that here. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna have a little bit of a bigger roofing piece piece over here. So I'm just making sure this roofing is like aligned with all the angles and everything. And then up top, we're going to go in with a half gabled roof. I'm going to rotate it so that it's facing the back and we're just going to do this one side here at a time. And using Alt on my keyboard, I'm going to bring this down so it's just below that top part there. We're going to copy and paste it on the other side as well. So, so far, this is what we got. I feel like the angles could be up a little bit more maybe. So I'm going to raise each one by like two ticks. We're going to do a black roof paint for all of this and we still have to roof another like patio piece coming out at the front. So we're gonna raise this up on a foundation. I need to do that front patio there. And I don't really know if we're gonna have a fence. It's gonna look exactly like how I want it. But I do know that I've done a TikTok build hack video in the past with this exact fence. So I'm literally gonna go look that up and <laughs> come back to you. I'll link the video down below if you wanna see where I found it too. So basically we're gonna come out a little bit with our walls. We're gonna build a room. We're gonna turn on debug. So bb.show hidden objects, bb.show live edit objects. We're gonna be using this item here from Eco Lifestyle in a black swatch. I'm just gonna put that there for now and we're gonna go into debug and I'm looking for this base game like peg basically. It's gonna be the corners of my fence. Okay so this here I'm gonna just take a bunch of these out because I can't copy and paste them without the better build and buy mod which I don't know why I'm so stubborn against downloading that. I do not know why. I think it's because once I do I know I'll never go back and my game will just forever be modded like that. Okay so basically this is gonna be really time consuming but I'm gonna take this we're gonna shrink it down to about there and I'm gonna do the same thing over and over again. We're just gonna be copying and pasting, lining them up properly and then I'm just gonna do that all the way across and we're gonna use these as the corners of the fence. So I'm gonna do that on this whole patio. I'll be right back. One eternity later. Okay, so this is what our fence turned out like. It looks modern. I like it. I wish we had a fence that looked like this in The Sims. Like we've got a few but nothing quite exactly like that. Let's get our wallpaper. I'm thinking season is gonna be the best bet in that like blue paneling. So I'm gonna put that all over as our base, except for over here by the garage. I think I'm gonna put a brick. So I've got that for that entire part and I really wanna put some trim right there. So I think I'm gonna go in with this roof trim and I'm just gonna put that right in the middle of the roofing so that it kind of clips. And I feel like I could get away with a thicker roof trim here. So I'm just gonna use that for maybe just those parts there. This part here is gonna be covered up by roofing. So we're gonna go in again with this half gabled roof piece and I'm just gonna adjust that, maybe bring in 
in the adjusters a little bit just so it's hanging over this front part. Actually, we're gonna be bringing that out quite a bit. We're basically bringing that all the way to the edge of our front patio. So something like that. And I think for this front part, we're gonna use that base game metal there. We're gonna do this foundation paint here from Get Together. I'm gonna put some columns here at the front. They might get rid of those pegs that I had to get, but that's okay. We're gonna use these ones here from Snowy Escape. Yeah, I do think I'm gonna delete those pegs actually. We'll do some flooring in there. Our stairs right here at the front. I am gonna use some spandrels in the matching swatch from Seasons. And I need some siding here, maybe like a brown, just to go on this like one roof piece. Oh, and actually in the front door too. Ooh, I actually quite like that. Okay, next for windows and doors, I'm gonna go in immediately to Snowy Escape because we're gonna use this here as our garage door. It does have some like window on there too. So I'm gonna get the ones from Spa Day. They're like a nice thin window. This one here in the black swatch. And I'm just gonna put those onto this side here. That's gonna be our garage door. Not functional, obviously, because we don't have garages in The Sims. I think I'm gonna use this one here from Get Together for my front door. And then for the windows, I'm thinking either Get to Work has some good ones we could use. Like these ones here could maybe work. And I think Discover University also has something similar. Ooh, actually, yeah, those Get to Work ones look really good up top. So I'm gonna bring those same windows around. We'll just do like a couple on the side here. I am also gonna bring out a patio in the back here, but probably using a different fencing. I don't think I'm gonna go in for the back and do that whole thing again. And in the back, we're also gonna do like a big glass sliding door. Maybe that one could work. Cute, this is looking good so far. Okay, next we're gonna go in with the details. I'm gonna use another roofing piece here as my driveway. I'm not gonna be able to actually do like the curved driveway piece, but I am gonna use this here. We're gonna bring in all the adjusters. I'm gonna line it up so it's kind of right at the door here. And again, using Alt on my keyboard, I'm just gonna raise that up and then use these adjusters here. So holding shift on my keyboard, I'm gonna bring that all the way down. And I feel like I could probably bring that all the way over too. So we're just gonna adjust accordingly. Then we can go in with a roof paint that looks more like concrete. So I'm gonna use this one here, the Gravel Delight Roof. And now we have a bit of a driveway. I can add some stone on the bottom there. We're gonna go in with some roof trim. And when we do the landscaping, we're gonna hide the sides of it. So like I could go in and hide it with these shrubs. I'm just gonna push those up against it. The landscaping over here kind of goes out in a circular shape. So let's do something like that. And then for the stone panels there, I'm gonna use these here from Get Together. These are great for exterior landscaping. I'm gonna do maybe like a couple like this and maybe we just bring it out like that. And then around those, we can fix our terrain paint, do the landscaping, which this landscaping looks like it has a lot of these, which end up looking really nice at the front of the house. So I'm gonna use those combined with like, they also have this here. We're gonna try and make this item work, which I normally use for ponds, but we'll see. Along with like this stuff here from Base Game and maybe like these here too. And we'll throw in this one here too. I feel like I'm losing my voice a little bit. I don't know why. I got my tea here. I better start sipping. So, so far with the landscaping, I'm not quite done yet. This is what we've got. I want to start to add the front patio decor. You can kind of see they have like a white chair here. It sort of looks like this one from Dream Home Decorator. I'm also going to put a couch over here. We're going to do like a little seating area. Maybe we can do a matching chair on this side. We'll add a rug right here. It looks like we can even do a hanging plant over here. So I'm gonna use this one here from the Blooming Rooms kit. And it looks like we could use this plant here from Get Together. It's kind of like at the front here. So I'm gonna just put this, we might have to raise it up so it's sitting on that roof piece. They have two, so I'm gonna raise this one up as well. Oh no. Does that ever happen to you guys? You like rotate an object and then it automatically like goes flying. <laughs> For lighting, we're gonna use these spa day lights. And in the back, obviously, I don't really know what it looks like. We could look up backyard though on Pinterest to see what we get. I just put a pool back here for now. We do have a lot of space though. Okay, let's go back and search up backyard. So the first one, ooh, of course we get a pergola moment with the fairy lights, the hanging swing chair. That garbage can looks like it might be on fire, but we can totally do this. Okay, so I set the stage a little bit. I've got the pool done over here. I added some loungers. I finished up the landscaping for the most part over here. And this is where we're gonna do our pergola swing moment. So I actually wanna make this item work here from the Oasis Courtyard kit. We're gonna build our own pergola today. I know there's some in game, but I find it a lot more fun to like make them myself sometimes. Let's build it over here. I basically just built that up there so that we have something to use as a base. I'm gonna move this tree for now. Maybe I'll line them up like this so it's gonna be a little bit bigger than the room that I created. Now I'm gonna go in with some columns. I think I'm probably gonna stick with the snowy escape ones just cause I already used those. So just gonna put those along the four corners. And next you're gonna go in with a base game fence. I have done this trick so many times on this channel, but I've never used that kit thing on top. So we're basically just gonna use these and go across the top here. Not really 
necessary, but I'm gonna be adding trim and stuff and I think it's gonna help. So now that I've got those on top, I can go in and add our spandrels. And this is gonna open the whole thing up. So we're just gonna put those along the wall pieces. I think I'm gonna change mine to a darker brown here just to match the one in the photos, more of like an orangey brown, I think. But the dark is gonna look really nice here. We can add some stone to the flooring. I can't really see it. It kind of just looks white. So maybe we can just use that there. And up top here, I'm gonna have to get in between these items and just delete the ceiling pieces that are still there. So there we go. Ooh, that's actually really cool. I'm gonna get rid of that white little trim there by adding my own trim. So there we go. And now we can go in and add like the fairy lights in there. I'm gonna be using these ones from the little campers kit. I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna raise them up so it looks like they're hanging along the top. I think these ones are going on a diagonal, so I'm just gonna rotate them. So, so far, that's what my fairy lights are looking like. I wanna get the hanging chair too. And the first one that I thought of when I looked at that was high school years. I'm gonna use this chair here for now. I am gonna try and hang it. And for the couch, I was thinking about using this one here in that swatch. Ooh, that's perfect. I was also actually thinking for the fairy lights in the background, we could maybe use this. I've definitely seen pergolas using these, like some of them use them to keep bugs out. I'm gonna try and put that along the entire back wall there. I'm gonna use these pillow chairs here from City Living. We're gonna add a big rug, some plants over to the side, and I need an end table slash like trash can looking thing that is on fire. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this here from Outdoor Retreat. It's like a stone end table and I'm gonna get a fireplace. <laughs> Stay with me. This is gonna be cool. We're gonna use maybe just a base game one. We're gonna shrink it all the way down and hide it in there. I might actually have it sticking out the back a little bit so that your sims can come and light this. So even if I can just do like a tiny little corner sticking out and then if it works, we should have fire on top of that. Let's test it. Okay, let's see. She's come over. I think she's gonna do it. Now, will we have the fire on top? <laughs> it's more <laughs> like it's on fire here. Wait, <laughs> that's not quite it. Maybe if I like keep the fire there and just go like this now. I mean, that works. Okay, I mean, it's not quite a fail. In the picture, they have like these chairs hanging. What I was thinking is we could use these here from Nifty Knitting. Size them up so we don't have the plants there anymore and I could just like stick them in there, hide them a little bit and then raise the chair up. But I don't think they're gonna be able to sit on that. Even if I raise it like slightly. Oh, actually it's off the ground and she's able to sit. I'm shocked. I did not think that would work. Okay, so we are gonna hang these. That turned out so freaking cute. I don't like how you can see it like the string down there. I wish I could get rid of that. The only thing we're missing from the picture is a wind chime, which I know we've got some hanging ones here from backyard stuff. So I'm just gonna stick that right there. I'm gonna add my tree back here and I think I might put that swing set. This one here from the little campers kit. We're gonna pull this whole backyard together with that. And there we go. This backyard is so cute. So with all the landscaping and everything, this is what the front of the house turned out like. I feel like it's pretty similar to the one in the picture. I love it. It totally looks like one of those ones you would see like in a real estate magazine or something. Along the side, we've got the same plants that I used along the front and I made this like winding path leading to the back. And this is what the back of the house looks like. So we're ready to go in Side. I did make a little bit of a floor plan here. So when you walk in, I need to put stairs here still. I literally just broke my own rule, which is put stairs first. Cancelled. Okay, here's our layout. Definitely do not ever put your stairs last when doing a floor plan. But okay, you're gonna walk in here. We're gonna have a main foyer area. Our bathroom is located here in the back. We're gonna have a kitchen and dining over here for this whole area. On this side, we're gonna do our living room. And I added a bedroom at the bottom here just because I do plan on doing another bedroom room up top. I just know that we're going to probably want to do another one in a house this big. So let's go back to Pinterest. We're going to first look up living room. All right, let's search. And the first one that comes up is this here, which is kind of interesting. Not what I expected at all, honestly, but okay, we're going to make this work. So I didn't add any flooring here because I knew I wanted to wait and see what we got. I think I might use this eco lifestyle flooring for this with like a cream colored wallpaper. We're going to go with like that. Okay, we need a green couch. One preferably with blank blankets on it. Like I know this one has some blankets on there we could use. This is from the industrial loft kit. The one in the picture doesn't really have those bars there. If this one was a little bit darker, it would work. We're definitely going for like a darker green. Okay. I do think this one's going to be our best bet. We're going to get that lamp, which I know comes with that decor to the max kit. This lamp here is the only one in the game that like comes over that far like that. So there we go. We need a picture up here, which literally looks like those really expensive base game ones like this, but longer. Maybe Maybe even this. The rug looks like one of these with like the phrase at the end. We could even potentially do this laundry day one. That one might be a little too dark though. Maybe that. Or I know tiny.
tiny living has one. We're also gonna need just a wood coffee table. Super basic. I might just use this one here from Snowy Escape. I need like a glass end table. I guess I'm gonna use that and we can put a plant on there. It looks like some book clutter. The thing is like in real life, houses do tend to kind of look like this. Like you'll have some mismatching furniture, like maybe a table you picked up years ago that you're meaning to replace. You just haven't gone there yet. I have quite a few tables like this in my house. Furniture can be expensive. So buying everything that matches like perfectly, it can add up. Especially when you like just move out. Like I have things that I got from my mom or like friends, my boyfriend's mom. Like you just kind of collect things, you know? This house is very much reminding me of that so far. So that's the kind of decor that I have so far. And then over to the side, they have like a table, which I'm planning on doing a full dining room. So I think I'm gonna spin this as like a games table maybe. It goes over to the side. There's a couple chairs around it. We can use this table here, which is like the game llama table. Don't wake the llama classic game table. And we can put the game on there and then I'll just add the chairs beside it. I don't see any curtains in the picture, but I am gonna add these or maybe these ones just so that we get rid of that harsh like black window that I have. In the picture, they're white windows and I feel like this is gonna make them look a little bit more like the picture. And it looks like there's a plant over there with this underneath it. So I'm gonna make my own plant here to try and make it look as similar to this as possible. I feel like that looks kind of cool like that. I was having a hard time finding a rug that fit. So I'm gonna put this base game one on top here and I'm actually going underneath these, adding the fray to the sides that isn't there already. So I'm using this dream home decorator rug here and I'm just adding the frays like this. And then I'm gonna go in and put this on top of there. So we have the fray, but we have the same kind of pattern that the rug has. There we go. And I can't see the other side, but I still have a lot of room here. So I'm thinking about actually putting a wall here. On there, we could add a brick like that maybe. And this is where I could put a fireplace and mount a TV. Since I can't see the other side of that, we're just gonna have to use our imagination, do what works best with the build here. So let's do a TV right there. We could add maybe this fireplace here from Snowy Escape, move that rug over slightly. And then on the other side, since I have like a weird spot over here, I can just add bookshelves. We can match it, maybe do like a more private reading area, even though it's just around the corner. Then on the side here, I'm just planning on putting a desk keeping with this like traditional sort of style that we've got going on. And there we go. Yeah, this is totally not a normal style that I would really build in. We've got the reading area over to this side. I added a couple plants in here just to spruce it up a little bit. And then on this side, we just have a really basic like desk area. I might actually add this like laundry bin over here just for a little extra clutter, you know? And I think with that, we are ready to move on to our kitchen. Okay, so searching kitchen. And the first one that we get, oh, it's a cute little one with his doggy and blue counters. Okay, so the color scheme in here is very cold as opposed to what we had in the other room. I don't really want to change my flooring. Like it looks fine from here, but then you like turn the corner and you see that separation there. We'll see how we feel about it. The wallpaper I'm going to use is actually going to be this one here from base game. It's got like those bricks there. That's pretty accurate. All of these windows are white. It couldn't be messing up the inside of this anymore, but I'm going to put these lights over top. Maybe I'll put the curtains there again just to lighten it up a little bit. And for the counters, we need a nice like dark blue, which my first thought was these ones here. I think there is a darker one, but they're more like clean than that. Maybe like this one could work. This is a base game counter. There's also some blue swatches in Dream Home Decorator. Like these that could work, but they're still not the right color. I feel like maybe this base game one might be the closest bet. Or there's these ones from Parenthood. Wait, Cottage Living might work. I'm gonna try Cottage Living just because I know we have that sink that would go with it. So we've got our counters there. I'm gonna replace one of these here with a sink. So we've got that there. It looks like there's cabinets wrapping around this way and the stove is over here. But I'm actually gonna flip it and reverse it the other way. So we're gonna do our cabinets up on here and the oven going this way. So I might use these white cabinets here from Parenthood. We'll do our oven on the side here. We need the stove top and then I'm gonna stick the fridge over to the side here. So we'll have our fridge in there. Everything is taken care of. We do need an island. I'm just gonna use that there like that. There's a rug coming down the middle which kind of looks to me like the clean version of the werewolves one. And then in the corner we're gonna add our plants. It looks like there's a fruit bowl. I think they also have a dishwasher so I'm gonna make sure we add that. Okay so this is how our kitchen turned out. I have all of the essentials over here. We've got our dishwasher on the island. All we need is the little doggy sitting there to pull it all together. But this is how it turned out. And then on the other side, I just added this table here. I think I might put like a plant in that corner, like a hanging plant right there. I could even squeeze a trash can into that corner. So let's put that one right there. And that is what our kitchen is going to look like. We're going to flip around and do the dining room. I really hope we get something like more matchy to that side. Okay, let's go ahead and search dining room. 
room. Ooh, we get this. Very traditional. Kind of goes with that living room that we already did. Let's do it. So for wallpaper, I think I'm going to use the same one that I used in the other room. We need a big dining table. It's like a dark brown. It almost looks like either this one here. No, this one has the exact same like legs as the other table. The chairs, I'm wondering if we could use these from high school years. They have those brass like fixtures on the chair. I'm going to try these. They don't have a rug in here, but they have this flooring. I think maybe I could change that to using like one of these in there. I feel like that is not really too big of a difference. Or we literally just do it under the table. Is that weird? The flooring kind of looks like it literally changes in the picture. So I'm going to keep it like that. And this one does have curtains. So I'm going to try and layer these. I'm going to use the same curtains that I've been using through the whole house, but I'm also putting these base game ones over top. So I'm just going to like make those bigger and just put them right on top. And then we're going to get that layered look. That looks cute. Actually, this video is way more full of hacks than I expected. I wish we had a nice circular light like the one in the picture, but the best we can do is maybe this one here from get to work on the table. I'm going to use this plant here from dine out and I need some like glass jars to put on there too. And then in the background, they have this like end table right where our curtains are. But I was thinking instead of deleting that window entirely, because I do like how those curtains look. What if we put that feature of that room over here? So we're going to need a green end table. I really want to use this one here and like put it together. This is like exactly that color that I want. That looks cute. I could actually just use this dresser here instead. The swatches on this are actually really pretty. Like this green one here is really nice. These are from high school years. And I'm also noticing like, is this dark green making a, a comeback? Because every time I search up like any sort of interior design lately, I see this like dark green color, which I do like it. I'm going to use that mirror there. It's going to be like built into this dresser here. We could literally use that picture from Eco Lifestyle. Or honestly, this picture could work. It's literally just like a guy. Maybe like this picture could go behind too. And in front, we can add all the plants that they've got there. It looks like there might be a bookshelf there too. So I'm going to just put that there. We can put some clutter on it. Maybe these are cookbooks and that's why we've got a bookshelf in the middle of our dining room. We'll even add our own cookbook clutter. All right. So this is our dining room here. I really like that green cabinet. I feel like I'm going to use that a little more often. We've got a lot of different colors going on in here. I don't think I would have matched these colors myself, but it does at least match the living room we've got over there. And I just changed all of the flooring in here to brown. On this floor, we've got a foyer, a bathroom, and a bedroom. Let's do the foyer next. Oh my God. And the first one we get is this. Um, I don't know how we're going to do that. First of all, I could only dream of stairs that look like that in The Sims. Literally, we don't have spiral stairs. The flooring, like, I guess we could use the tile in here. This house is all over the place, but okay, we're going to use this rug. I think I'm going to like make that really big. We'll do this for our railing. I need some yellow chairs, which maybe I think there are some yellow ones in these chairs that we've been using. Are they yellow or orange or brown? I have two monitors and my saturation is different on each of them. So like one of them, it looks orange. One of them looks yellow. I'm just going to go with yellow chairs and bookshelves galore. I don't think I'm going to be able to match that green. We could maybe go with these from Dream Home Decorator and just like line the entire wall with them. I'm changing it to orange. I feel like it might look a little bit better with these chairs here. Again, we have this like crazy light that I could only dream of having. However, I feel like we might be able to make this one with Journey to Batu. So like if we go in with these black lights and just shrink them so they're different sizes, that kind of looks like what they've got. Like the less glam version, obviously. And to spruce it up a little bit, I might put this gold mirror here. Our flooring issue has just gone out the window. The Sim that lives here is indecisive. They do not know what they want. They don't know what style they like. So I'm just going to fill these up with like a little bit more clutter and we're going to move on to the bathroom. Okay. We have filled up these bookshelves with some clutter. This is what this is looking like. I added an end table over to this side and this is what our front foyer is looking like. I mean, zoomed out, it looks kind of cohesive. All right, let's go back and look for a bathroom. Ooh, actually. Okay. This is kind of cute. What is happening on the wall? This comment says, I absolutely love this, but the more you look at it, the worse it gets. And that is so true. At first I was like, okay, I like the colors. I like the gold accents in here, but then you notice like what is happening with those necklaces? All of these essential oils down here. I'm confused, but we're going to make it work, I guess. Okay. So we're definitely going with a checkered flooring and a navy blue wallpaper, but also with tile. I think I'm going to use this one here from Spot A or even this could work. I feel like that's more of the color. I'm actually debating using these in here too. These are wainscoting from the decor to the max kit. They add a bit of texture in there, but I feel like I need to get the color right for it. I wish we had a feature in The Sims 4 that allows you to have like split walls because I need a tile on the bottom and a wallpaper on the top. And I feel like I could make this work 
work a lot better if I had that feature. Okay, we're gonna need our toilet, just a regular white toilet. We need a shower, which I think I could get the shower to go maybe like over here in this corner. So shower like that, I wanted to leave this open because it looks like, is that a bidet? <laughs> Don't have a bidet in The Sims, but I do want to include that weird table of like essential oils. So literally end table with like a whole bunch of little bottles on it. I think I'm gonna do a combination of these little bottles here. These are from my wedding stories. Definitely not essential oil bottles, but I feel like the little glass bottles on there will look cool. And then I think Spa Day also has some debug we can use. So a whole bunch of bottles on there. And then let's check out Spa Day. Yeah, I wanted these, like the massage oil. We'll just toss these in the mix here. We need a sink on the other side. Maybe I can use this one here and we'll get a mirror in between these. I'm still not sure if I'm sold on those like wainscoting pieces, but I'm just gonna put one of these right on top of the mirror. I need some pink flowers to size up and raise up there. There's also like one of those vents from vampires, like one of these, such a random item for vampires, but we'll put that right there. And now I need to figure out how we're gonna get these necklaces all over the wall. I don't know. I don't think we have necklaces hanging. This is definitely gonna have to be a debug deep dive. I found a ring. I could maybe size these up and put them on here. This is so weird. Like why, why? Also anyone who downloads this just randomly off the gallery is gonna be like, what the heck? Okay, I figured it out. I know our story. This is how we're gonna make it work. This sim has been married so many times and they've gathered all of their furniture that they've owned from their previous marriages. That's their game. They just get married, steal people's furniture and get divorced. And that's why they have so many rings on display in the bathroom. One ring for every time they've been married. It all makes sense now. <laughs> okay, so this is our super weird bathroom. Like this house just keeps getting weirder and weirder. I might just do like a random wall plant right there. And yeah, there we go. This is our strange bathroom. Let's move on to the next room. We have two bedrooms to do. This is a really big bedroom and we have a smaller room upstairs, which I'm kind of thinking maybe could be a different room. I don't know yet. Okay, let's see. Bedroom. Ooh, this looks so cozy. These actually look like the same room here. So I might actually have two reference pictures. Okay, cute. I love that. First thing we're going to do here is delete this lighting completely. I'm going to replace it all with cozy lighting. The wallpaper again, I feel like since we've been using it, I could get away with using this cream color in here. So first thing I'm going to do is pick a bed. We need one with lots of pillows. Maybe this eco lifestyle one could work. There looks like some kind of paneling behind. So I'm going to use these here from Snowy Escape just behind my bed here. And this is where I'm going to connect my fairy light. So I'm going to just connect these all the way along, like through the back of this. I like want my bedroom to look like this. I think I've mentioned before that like the bedroom in my house gets the short end of the stick all the time. Any furniture that I've bought for this house recently goes into the living room or like my office. So the bedroom is so empty. Like we have nothing in there other than the bed and dressers. But I would love to incorporate something like this. This looks so cozy. I'm gonna put that chair over there from high school years. Beside there, we need some lanterns, which my wedding stories has some nice ones. I'm gonna use these here. We could even size them up. The one is pretty big. Again, with these freaking windows. And then of course we have the door over here too, which I feel like I could make that work somehow. I don't know how yet. We're gonna need some pictures over to the side here. I was thinking this and like another one, maybe that one there just cause they have the same frame. I think I might actually scoot this stuff over a little bit so that I can make my closet right here. Cause it kind of looks like it's built into the wall. And they have these like hanging stars in here, which I'm gonna use these just around maybe in the corners of my room. I'm gonna make a closet here using Dream Home Decorator. We're just gonna stack these shelves up on top of each other. And then on the side, I'm gonna do the hanging shelves from Dream Home Decorator. This is gonna be cute. This is my favorite room so far. Wait, she matches this room so well, her outfit and everything. Okay, so this is how our room turned out on this side. I added a couple more pictures there, some poofs for seating. And then on this side, this is where we got our inspiration from the picture. I love this side. I feel like this looks so cozy over here with the stars and everything. Definitely giving that like holiday vibe that I think they were going for. Every time I go to show you guys my walkthrough, I go to add more things. So there we go. This is what we've got. Moving on to the final room. I feel like this is just going to be a single sim that lives here. So up top, I was considering doing a skill room instead of the other bedroom. Let's see what comes up if we look up skill room. This is definitely a weird way to like look things up. Okay. Oh my God. An apothecary. I guess we could do it. Okay. So up here, I need like siding, like wood siding on the walls, but like old looking. This is definitely an attic. All of a sudden realm of magic is going to make its way in here. So I'm going to use items like this and this, but I might build that in somehow to like a built-in shelving unit. Basically this entire picture we see here is like shelving. I'm going to get an old work table. Like we can put this under here, maybe a couple of these. Had I built this without doing a challenge, this totally would have been like a secret room. Other than the fact that this room is like 
like directly accessible right when you walk in the door. I'm putting all of these bottles here from my wedding stories that are exactly like the ones we put downstairs. Maybe the Sim that lives here is a witch who makes love potions, makes people fall in love with her, steals their furniture for their house and then leaves. They could have like the villainous Valentine aspiration in The Sims 4. I'm adding papers and clutter everywhere, changing up the swatches so that it looks like there's more. Of course, we're gonna add the actual like Realm of Magic potions here, including the alluring aura one. And I'm gonna be adding book clutter as well. I'm gonna change up the swatches so I can use multiple here. There are tons of books as well as potions in that picture. And I'm gonna squeeze this bookshelf from Cats and Dogs right under there. That fits perfectly. I'm gonna stick this cauldron right here so that we can actually make the things that we're putting in this room. All right, so this is our apothecary that I made upstairs. Totally random in this house, but that's kind of the theme of like the whole thing. This was the part that was inspired by the room that we did. I added that cauldron in the middle, some seating area over here so that it's still cozy, just like the bedroom downstairs. And I just added a couple of plants over on that side as well. So this has been our Pinterest decides every room in our house in The Sims 4. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.